Hey everyone, it's Brian. It is Wednesday and I'm going to try and give you some wedding tips. Um, so this camera is being weird. It keeps changing color. Like right now I'm turning purple and then back to orange. Anyway, so I apologize for the, the color in this video if it looks weird. So today we are talking about the wedding ceremony. So the wedding ceremony is the real reason why people, why, I mean, why you're having a wedding, right? So you, you're there to get married. So without the wedding ceremony, there's not really any point to it. Um, but for some reason, we've gotten into this traditional kind of thing where the ceremony is kind of boring. Um, all, the ceremony is like every other ceremony. And I don't know, it's just not the most exciting part of the day. Um, but there are ways to make, you know, the wedding ceremony more interesting, more memorable, more exciting, all of that jazz. Um, I mean, I see so I see 20 something wedding ceremonies a year and a good chunk of them are all like the rest and I can't remember. But then there are a few that have these things that really, really make it different and really make it stick out. Um, so like for the first thing. Um, today I was editing, uh, Jordan's wedding video and they actually did two of these things. So, uh, I'm going to kind of talk about that. Cause like I was editing their ceremony video and I was like, man, um, they, this is a cool ceremony. I got a little teary eyed and I was like, man, this is really awesome. So the first thing I would suggest, if you want to make your ceremony more interesting, more memorable, um, when you are picking out the officiant, the pastor or whatever, Try and find someone that actually knows you. Um, I see these like professional professional officiants that show up and they basically have a script that they read for every single wedding. And so sometimes like I, I'm like, I feel like I've heard this before. And it is. I've heard it before because they've said the exact same thing at 20 different weddings. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem I have with that is it's not very personal to the couple and it's hard for the audience to really connect and it's just not not really amazing if all they're saying is a bunch of generalized stuff. Um, I love it when the officiant is someone that knows them that is connected and they can tell personal stories and really you know that you can tell that they actually know the people and care about them. Um, so it could be like your pastor from your church. Um, I've seen a lot of people have relatives or friends do it, but it is always more interesting when the officiant actually knows you and there's personal connection there. You know, they're, they're saying fun things. All right. So that's the first one. Number two, Jordan also did this, write your own vows. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing the basic, you know, vows that everyone does. But again, it's not, it's not extremely personal. I mean, when I start hearing people like do the vows, I just kind of like tune out usually. I'm like, okay, they're going to say the same thing. The pastor's going to say something, they're going to repeat it. The pastor's going to say something, they're going to repeat it. And again, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not going to like blow my mind. Um, some of my favorite weddings are the ones where you actually have people saying things that they came up on their own. I mean, how you're making a vow to someone. Shouldn't it be something that you actually think of and something that you actually believe and something that you actually want to do? So I, I believe the vows should be something that you write yourself, something that you actually mean. And again, people are gonna, gonna feel so much more connected to that than just you repeating something that everyone else in the world says five million times a year. Um, and it they, they doesn't have to be like something grand or anything, but just come up with something on your own. All right, so that's number one and number two. So the last one, um, do something different, do something unique, do something interesting, but do something. And this really could be, this could be about anything, but try and get out of the normal routine of the wedding ceremony and come up with something that's, you know, connected to you guys or something that you actually want to do. So, uh, <laughs> and again, the things I'm about to say stick out in my mind because they were different and I remember the ceremony. So I think this was like maybe two years ago. Um, they had an adult flower girl. 
So it was like one of the bride's friends. She was probably like 20, I don't know, 26, 27 years old. And she was the flower girl and she was hilarious. She like pranced down the aisle and was like flinging the flowers. And one of my favorite shots I've ever taken, she actually like stopped in front of me and like (sighs) blew flowers into my face. Um, And it's just stuff like that. That was hilarious. Um, About a month ago now, Stephanie and Braden did a foot washing ceremony, which I've never seen before. And I thought that was really cool. Um, So that was something completely different, something completely new. And it was very personal to them and it meant a lot. And again, people are going to remember that. Um, There was another time I saw some people do like this wood branding thing where they had their initials and they had this brand and they're like, and they like this piece of wood lit on fire. Um, and guys, there, there, you can do anything, but try and come up with something unique, something different, something people will actually remember um, besides, you know, all the traditional things that happen in a ceremony. All right, so I'll go through that really quick again because I've been talking for like six minutes. So number one, get a pastor who knows you, who can say stuff about you so it's not the same, blah, blah, blah. Okay, two, write your own vows so it's interesting, so it's personal, so it's something you actually want to say and care about. And three, come up with something unique and different to do at your ceremony um, besides all the normal, normal stuff. All right, so hopefully that helps some of you guys. Hopefully some of you are coming up with some great ideas that you can throw out there to make your ceremonies more memorable, more exciting, so we can all have a good time and enjoy it. Thank you very much, guys. And have a good day.